Namaste. Today we are going to work on our low part of body involving the groins, involving our thighs, involving our ankle, our legs, strengthening and also bringing a lot more blood flow to our joints area. So let's have fun. Right. So sit comfortably. Relax the shoulder, close your eyes. Focus on your breathing. When you're breathing in and out, relax the body part by part. Just allow yourself a few moments to center yourself. Relax the mind, relax the body. With every exhalation, you relax the body. With every inhalation, you actually energize your body. Tailbone grounded, shoulder relax. Awareness to your hip joints, to your thighs, ankle. Our legs enables us to walk around, move around freely. Awareness to the center of your palm. Bring the palms together in front of your eyes and look at your palm. Right. Namaste. Let's start. Bring the foot sole together facing each other you can bring the foot sole close to your perineum or you can bring it away let's do a butterfly bring the knee up and press it down don't have to be too forceful like trying to press your knee all the way down we are just moving the hip joints yeah just warm up our hip joints Sometimes you feel that it's very limited that you're not able to bring the knee towards the floor. It could be due to tightness of the muscles and possible the limitation of the skeleton variation. Our bone structure are slightly different from every right, just slowly. You can speed it up a little bit. You can slow it down. Just feel a little bit soreness here, you know, outer part of the muscles. Right, slowly release. You can stay here or bring the perineum even closer to you. Interlock the hand, hold the both feet together, round the back and hunch forward. You can keep the back really round, it's, it's fine. I'm just wanting to feel that a little bit more deeper stretch at the groin area. Breathe. Slowly inhale, look forward. Exhale, move down once again. Slowly inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Yeah, You can hold the side of the knee and slowly come up yeah right let's come to a squatting position yeah so the distance of the both feet it can be slightly wider or you can bring it really close to you so which depending on how comfortable you are for those that are unable to bring the heels down to the floor you can actually step on to a block right bring the palms together in front of your heart using the elbow to push away the knee from each other yeah so you bring the upper body flat and long look forward chin out breathe here balance and at the same time push the knees apart slowly round the back bring the knee close and point the hands forward slowly inhale press and Push, open it up, and look up, chin up. Slowly bring the 
bring them close and point the hands to the front, right? Few rounds, yeah. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, push it up. Exhale. One more round. Inhale. Pushing it apart. Reaching the chin out. Exhale. Right. Slowly bring the palms down. Bring lift the buttock up. Still keep the knee bent. Yeah? So from here you can bend the knee. Touching the thigh one by one. Left and right. Just to warm up the back of the thigh. So again, keep the knee really bent so that you don't over stress your hamstring at the, at the beginning. Right. Slowly lower down the buttock. Look up. And slowly raise the buttock up. So from here, you can still keep the knee bent or slowly straighten the, uh, the both leg. Yeah. So now keep the knee bent, look up. And push it up. Few more. Looking up. And buttock up. Right? No way down. Lift the buttock up. Yeah. Slowly look forward. Slow. Bring the hands alongside your ear. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Right. You can keep the legs slightly apart. Let's do a chair pose. Push the buttock to the back. Hand to the front. So your both arm is actually reaching to the front. That's that's fine, yeah? So bring the buttock to the back. You, you will be still able to see the knee. Roll the tailbone down and belly away from the thigh. Just stay here for a few breaths. I know the thigh is definitely is burning. It's very important to keep the knee behind your toes. Slowly breathe. Exhale, palms down. Lift the buttock up. Just gently bend forward, yeah? Slowly rise up. To the chair with the hand extend to the front, shoulder away from your ear. Roll the tailbone down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release, yeah? Breathe. Come back to the chair again. So, this is the third time. From here, lift the heels off the ground. Hold. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Slowly release. One more. Come to the chair pose. Still do all the necessary adjustment. The heels off. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down the heels. Hands down. Step back to the downward facing dog. Breathe the downward facing dog. Push the tailbone up to the ceiling. Bring the knee down. Push the bottle back. Extend the child. Slowly come up. Knee down. Extend the child. Slowly come up. Lower down the both knee. Come to the tabletop. Right. From here, lift the left leg up. So from here, you're kicking your leg off the floor from the hip joint, yeah? so you do not sink your pelvic low. Don't use your lower back to lift the leg, yeah? So you are just extending the leg to the back and leave it up. So you can feel the movement on the, on the, from the groin and also the engagement of the glutes and your thighs, yeah? or of your quads. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, come back here. Bend the knee. So from here, point the, bring the knee, come back. Point the knee to the side. Right? Bring it back. Straighten the leg. Bend the knee. Open up to the side. Coming back. Straighten the leg. Few more rounds. Huh? Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
right slowly release yeah next change to another leg right leg to the back one two three four my upper body is still very stable huh? seven eight slowly bend the knee point the leg to the right this time come back point to the back bend the knee lift the knee to the side come back extend the leg to the back right this is the third time this is very good to uh, definitely to move the groin the hip joints and also to tone up the thigh yeah? the inner thigh yeah? right okay this could be number seven number eight right release yeah as i mentioned today it's about the hip let's move a lot i know how that feel slowly lift the left leg to the thigh uh, to the back point the left leg to the left hold it there five four three two and one bring it back this really work on your external part of your legs yeah right leg up inhale and point it to the right five four three two and one come back release the leg knee off the floor to your downward facing dog breathe right leg up to the ceiling bring it up high slowly lower it down left leg up breathe from here step the left foot forward slowly come up to the high lunge okay so from the high lunge do all the necessary adjustment check the front knee and your front angle is it in the straight line so as for your back foot bring the heels up so from here feel that you're kicking your knee away from the floor so you stretch the front part of the thigh as well at the same time strengthen your front leg keep the knee back knee bent as if you're touching the floor and slowly kick it up lower it down kicking it up tailbone still roll down to the floor okay one more lower it down kick it so now exactly you feeling the engagement on the outer part of the thigh as well palms lower it down step back downward facing dog point the tailbone to the ceiling change the right leg to the front inhale come up to the high lunge so first you must feel the stretch on the front thigh first breathe stomach bring it away from the thigh engage the abdominal muscle bend the knee as if touching bring it up bend the knee bring it up two more yeah bend the knee slowly bring it up last one bend the knee slowly bring it up release the palms down step back downward facing dog breathe left leg up inhale stay exhale step the left foot forward right leg forward hand to the side inhale coming up exhale okay so from here cross the right leg over the left foot yeah do like a number figure four yeah okay i will turn around this side so that it's easier for you to view on the second side i will turn it to the side view yeah right so from here just your hand can be just free first push the butt out to the back so that you can feel a strong stretch at the outer part of the push the butt out to the back now you can place a hand at the heart center stay here ankle flex your right foot yeah the upper body is long tailbone still gently point down to the floor so you are having a very nice stretch on the glutes and your piriformis muscles breathe slowly inhale coming up exhale release yeah let's move to the left um, right leg but now from the side view yeah from the figure four on the front leg slowly 
push the buttock to the back first. So you are as if you are sitting down with only one leg. Anchor, right, left foot flat, flex, push the buttock to the back. I'll be still able to see my left toes here. Yeah? Palms together at the heart center, roll the tailbone down. Upper body still flat and long. Breathe. Hold it there. Right, slowly coming up. And exhale, release, yeah? Inhale, hands up. Exhale, move both hands down. Step there, right leg to the back, left leg to the back. Knee down, half chaturanga. Inhale, rise up to the cobra. Exhale, back to the downward facing dog. You will feel that there's a lot of blood flow is going and rushing through your both legs. You will feel a lot more relaxed after the few more poses, yeah? Right leg up, inhale. So from here, point the toes just to whichever size of the circles that you want. But remember, you are moving from the hip joint. Three, four, and five. Your both palm is still pressing down evenly to the floor. So now all the balancing is opposite directions, yeah? All your balancing is based on the three corner. Three, your buttock is still pushing to the back. Four, and five. Stay here. Lift the leg even higher. Breathe. Lower it down. Left leg up. Inhale. So first, you do the point toes first. Bring it up. As if you want to push your legs hold tight off the joints. Yeah. So now from here, you start to rotate the hip. Two, three, four, and five. Opposite directions. One, two, three, four, and five. Come back up. Release the left leg down. Back to your downward facing dog. Breathe. Right. Step the right foot forward. Slowly come up. Okay. So from here, hands to the front. I want you to reach your upper body to the front. So if you find that here is the hip joint is a little bit compressed, you can walk your right leg a little bit to the right. So then you can reach in the, you can fold in a more comfortable way. Yeah? So reaching out the whole body to the front, back ties, kick to the back. So the front leg really strong, reaching out to the front. It's like as if your half body is launching to the front, but at the same time, the back foot is heavily grounded to the floor. Hold and breathe. So you feel that really tired, on your outer part of your right thigh. Breathe. Release the palms down. Step back. Let's switch to another leg. I will walk my left foot a little bit to the left. Slowly come up, launching my whole body to the front. So if I still feel like not so comfortable at the hip joint, I can even walk my right leg a little bit more to the right. Reaching out. Breathe. This will be a very helpful way to open up the groin for sure. Palms down. Step back. Downward facing down. Okay. Once again, right leg to the front. Reaching the hand to the front. Hold it there. So from here, if you want to feel more challenging, leave the right heels off. That means you're only standing on the balls of your toe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Step back. Left leg forward. Coming up. Stay or heels off. Five, four, three. I know the calf is also involved. Two, and one. Palms down. Step back. Breathe here. 
bring the right leg to the front, come to the side squat. Yeah? So from here, left toe points, you will feel how free is your hip joint by now. Yeah? And definitely, I'm sweating, maybe due to the sun, <laughs> right? The left, bring the, bring the left toes up. So from here, palms down, switch your legs to the another side. Okay, point the legs out. Now you switch back. So from here you can, if you're able to sit on the floor, go ahead. Otherwise, you can bring a block and sit on the block. Lift the right hand up, left hand touching the thigh, shin bone or even as far as your ankle. Do a gentle side stretch. Breathe. You can do without the block if you want. Right? Breathe here, look up. Slowly inhale, come up. Back to the lunge pose. Step the right leg to the back. Breathe here. Yeah? Right. Bring the right leg forward again. Now we switch to another side. Yeah? But again, we are doing a few rounds of the stretching. Two. And three. Right. So from here, touch and stretch breathe or if you are up here you can just gently do a gentle side bend doesn't matter breathe or move down slowly inhale come up turn around downward facing dog breathe right leg up inhale exhale point to the right so now you can bring the right toes as if touching the floor and bring it up as if you're touching the floor and bring it up from the side yeah two more touching bring it up one more very good point it back and release now the left side don't forget all the alignment your upper body is still bringing pressing down shoulder away from your ear so your elbows off point it to the left now you lower it down bring it up lower it down bring it up two more touch and up last one touch and up point it to the back and release breathe and push the buttock to the back Whew. have a free and soft and more flexible hip grind now the joints hip joints your groins area breathe knee down rest at extended child stay here breathe catch a few more breath before we move on Slowly come back up, step the left foot to the front, come right to the high lunge first. Land the back heels, turn the body to the front. Point the toes a little bit to the side, about maybe 5 to 10 degree. Or for some of you, you might feel very comfortable to point the toes forward. It's all depending because we are going to do a goddess squat, yeah? So for me, I need to point my toes outwards. Right, so now you try the first round, just to check. Try not to let your knee collapse to the front. If you have that, I suggest that you don't squat too much, right? Otherwise, as you squat down, your knee is still open wide to the side, pointing to the side, and your body will be coming back to the center. Roll the tailbone, point the tailbone down to the floor. So you feel that you are actually working a lot on the inner thigh. So if this press your out your top of the knee so that you feel more comfortable here, right? Breathe. Otherwise, you can bring the palms in front of the heart center and entirely depend on your thighs. Breathe. Slowly inhale, come up. 
Exhale, coming down. You can slowly inhale, come up. As you go down, move really slow with full control. And you feel that the blood is like rushing there, right? One more, inhale. And definitely is very tired. Stay. One breath. You can release the left hand on the left thigh. Stretch the right hand up. Move to the right, left. Slowly inhale, come up. Exhale, switch. Slowly inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Okay, one more, yeah? Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. This time, both hands on the knee. So just do a gentle twist. You are bringing your left shoulder towards your right knee. So your upper body is flat as much as you want. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, now the right to the right shoulder to the left knee. Slowly inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Burning, the thigh is burning. Right, inhale, hands up. Exhale, move forward. Reaching out to the front and bring your thumbs down. Maybe you will be surprised again how you, how much freedom you gain with all those exercises, all those postures just now. You can bring the top of the head down or you can just place your hand in front of your eyes and just stay. Breathe. Upper body is still flat and long. Reaching the whole body to the front or allow the top of the head move down to the floor. Breathe yeah. Slowly inhale, come back up. Hand on the hip. Slowly rise up. Turn the left foot to the left. Bend the front leg, palms down. Back to the downward facing dog. Right. To open up. Press the back of the thigh to the back. Lift the right hand up. Reach your right hand to the left ankle. Outer part of the left ankle. Turn the body and gently twist. Breathe. Release the hand. Left hand. Hold the right outer part of the ankle. And as if you are peeping the ceiling through your right armpit. Yeah? Breathe. Slowly come back, bring the knee down, and rest at child pose. Breathe and let it go. Allow yourself to relax. You might feel some blood flow to the joints, to the thighs. Enjoy the moment. Right, slowly sit up. Right. Uh, today is a shorter version for you to open up the joint, uh, open up the groin area. You can combine this with some other uh, classes that you want to practice. But this will be a quite a good um, sequence for you to enjoy the freedom for your thighs and your legs, the bottom part of the body. So come sit cross leg. Just give yourself a moment. Let's do a little bit of a uh, breath work before we finish up the class. Just, I want you to left. Let's do a counter pose, yeah? Before we move to the pranayam. You can see that the knee is almost in the straight line, but if this is too much for you, you can just place it a little bit further, or you can just use a block to support 
all right? Do what your body is comfortable. But you can sometimes, you may be able to push a little bit further, but not too much, right? So if you bring the heels away from you, you will definitely feel a stronger stretch on the thigh. But if not, to, if to not, not for today, you bring it closer, right? Just sit here and relax. Close your eyes, breathing in and out. Slowly, without opening the eyes, move your palms to the front. You are using your stomach pressing down to the thigh. So your stomach now is resting on the right thigh. So let your body weight press you down. Breathe. It's still a very good stretch on the thigh region, especially the outer part of the thigh. Just enjoy the stretching, focus on your breathing. Slowly come back up. You can press the hand at to the back and switch to another side. Then you just sit tall first. Feel that you are in the pose now. And slowly move forward. Allow the stomach to press against your left thigh this time. Now you relax the whole body. Breathing in. Slowly come up. Right, with leg, sit comfortably at the cross leg. Hand resting on the both on top of the both legs. Just close your eyes. Relax the shoulder. Relax the whole body. Slowly, breathing in and out through your bo both nostrils. Now bring your awareness here. Yeah? I just want you to use more of your attention. Be mindful with your breath now. Bring more attention to your left nostril. Slowly as if you are bringing, breathing in through only your left nostril. Breathing in to the left. Breathing out to the, for, through the left. Slowly breathing in, still using your left nostril, breathing out. Few more rounds, breathing in and out through your left nostril. Don't focus on how hard it is, just focus on how much you can do how much attention you can put there on the left nostril. Make it the last round wherever you are, breathing in to the left, breathing out to the left. Now switch your attention to your right nostril. Breathing in to the right, breathing out from the right. Maybe at the beginning you find a little bit difficult because the attention is still on the left. Now you slowly bring more attention on the right, breathing in, breathing out. Focusing more on the right.
you might surprise that you might feel one side of your nostril is not so smooth that is always most of the time there's always some imbalance in our body in our breath that is why yoga is very helpful pranayama is very helpful to balance our body in terms of the energy in terms of the chi our prana make it the last round in the into the right nostril and exhale from the right nostril slowly come back to your normal breathing forehead observe the whole body awareness to the center of your palm bring the palms together in front of your eyes slowly open your eyes and look at your palm right thank you namaste today is about your hip hope you enjoy the class